Tech fans, glad to see you still here on the channel on launch day of the GTX 770. Now, I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about this. What is this thing all about? How fast is it? What are its specs? Well, pretty much this card is still based off the GK104 chipset. It's still the same as the GTX 680. Now, the Titan and the 780, they were all based off the GK110. Now, there's a lot of cards that are going to be released. Some will be reference design, which are the cards that are designed and spec'd by NVIDIA themselves, and there'll be the non-reference based cards, which are the cards that actually have completely different PCBs and cooling solutions on that. For today's first review, we'll be talking about the reference edition, which I have sitting right here. So without any more further ado, let's jump in and let's talk more about the new GeForce GTX 770. Taking a closer look at the GTX 770, I want to once again reiterate that it has the GK104 core. It's based on the 28 nanometer process. It has 1536 CUDA cores, just like the GTX 680. Now, unlike the GTX 680, the core clock of the NVIDIA GTX 770 has a 1046 megahertz core clock unlike the 1006 megahertz seen on the GTX 680. It also has a boost clock of 1085 megahertz versus 1059 megahertz seen on the Nvidia GTX 680. One of the biggest differences, however, is the memory clock. The GTX 680 came in at 1502 megahertz, while the Nvidia GTX 770 comes in at 1753 megahertz and is actually the fastest memory clock to date. The memory configuration on the card that we receive, which is the reference model, features two gigabytes just like the GTX 680, but there will be four gigabyte cards available. Both cards feature a 256-bit memory interface, and the TDP on the cards is slightly different, with the GTX 680 coming in at 195 watts and the GTX 770 coming in at 200 watts. Another difference is how the power requirements go. While the GTX 680 requires two 6-pin power connectors, the new GTX 770 requires a single 6 and a single 8-pin power connector. So you guys can see, in many ways, the new GTX 770 highly resembles the GTX 680. One of the major differences about the card, though, is going to be GPU Boost 2.0. GPU Boost 2.0 actually works on how cool your card's running. So the cooler your card is running, the better boost speeds you're going to get. So some of these cards that have aftermarket cooling will actually be able to achieve better boost clocks. Another big difference between the previous generation GTX 680 and the new GeForce GTX 770 is the way it looks and its cooling solution. The previous generations used a big plastic house with a big old blower on it that kind of sounded like a lawnmower in some cases. Now, the new GTX 770 used the same type of cooling solution as the 690, the Titan, and the 780, and hey, who am I kidding? This thing just really looks badass. A pair of these with a nice glowing green GeForce logo on the side of it looks really really cool let's now take a quick look at the rear io you guys can see that there are two dvi connections an hdmi port and a standard display port you can also hook up four monitors simultaneously all right folks now before we actually jump in and we talk about the benchmarks and everything a lot of you guys leave things down below saying hey you didn't leave us enough information about the test system well check it out if you guys happen to miss the video on our test station check that out right here it'll also be in the description down below so with that said it's time to rock out and let's go check out some benchmarks
Alright folks, so there you guys have it. All the facts, figures, and benchmarks of the new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770. Now, this card really is pretty much a boosted up, re-revved GTX 680. Yeah, there are a few changes. It's got much higher clock speeds, much higher memory, and it has GPU Boost 2.0 along with all the better cooling and all that stuff that comes on the card. Now, a lot of people are gonna ask, well, how does this compete against the competition? Well, we wanna clarify a couple of things because the comments sometimes get confusing. There's a big difference between the 7970 Standard Edition and the 7970 Gigahertz Edition. Now, now, the HIS Gigahertz Edition that we use sells for about $460. And you guys can see in the test that it went back and forth, back and forth with the 770. In some cases it beat it, in some cases it didn't. But it is a little bit more expensive. Making the big selling factor overall about the new 770 being the price. Seeing that it's coming to market for the reference edition for $399 and some of the aftermarket ones are between $409 and $420, I feel this is a very solid deal and very competitive for this range. So taking all that into consideration, the price, the performance, the new GeForce Experience 1.5, there are a lot of really cool things about this card and its software stuff about it. Now before I bounce out of here, we did a lot of coverage today. We did three different unboxings. We did the ASUS DirectCU 2 version. We did the Gigabyte WinForce overclocked version and the EVGA SC superclocked version as far as unboxings. We've got overclocked videos using the ASUS GPU tweak. And one of the biggest videos that you guys have always been requesting is SLI performance and we have that. So all that stuff is up here behind me in the screen. So you guys can click on any one of these things and go over to the video. If not, you guys can click on the link in the description below that's down there by that like button. If you guys like all the coverage, please make sure you pound the hell out of that button. And if you're not subscribed, hey, make sure you do so so you don't miss out on any of the videos here on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric and we'll see you guys later.